newsletter part two. For this one then, we're gonna begin with formatting the paragraphs. So what I wanna do is I wanna have some spaces between these so that it stands out more. We could do an indent, but that's not really how newsletters usually look. They have a different flow to them. So let's select all the text from Red Bluff down to the bottom. Click, hold, drag all the way down. But don't get this header, leave that alone. Okay, then go to the home ribbon, over to paragraph, and find the line spacing button right there and hit that little drop down. And we're going to add a space after paragraph. There. So before today, you may have just actually gone through here and hit return again after every single one of them and added some spaces in there. But odds are, there's a lot of them, you would have missed one. I mean, I was missing them when I was trying to select them all. So this is a much cleaner way to do it. It also allows me to have much more control over it. Later on, if it's not long enough, or maybe my letter's too long, I can tighten that space up a bit, not do a full space. I can actually change it just a little bit or more. So it gives us a lot more control over the way it looks. It's just a cleaner way to work. Okay, so let's do the title. So. Word art's fun. It's, Word art's been around for quite a while, but it's starting to fade out a little bit. You may not have the feature on the Mac one. I don't know, actually. But let's see what we can do. So let's select the title. Here's the beef. I'm going to copy that. Okay. So we're going to do look for Word art. So insert. I'm going to make this bigger again so you can see the whole screen. That's the Word art icon. We hit a drop down, we get these. Let's make it back over. Get smaller again. And there it is when it's not full screen. So we're going to pick one. You can pick any one you want, actually. I'm going to pick this one here. The only ones I ask you to avoid for right now are these ones with the drop shadows because it takes up a whole bunch of space because of the drop shadow. And so it'll end up being this giant title. So let's just choose one here in the middle. So what I was pointing out in this little slide here is that Word art used to be, if you have an old, old version of Word, you would open it and it would launch a whole little another program and you would edit it and it sort of dropped in this picture thing. Now what's happening though is it actually has become just sort of basically a font, a fancy font. And you can do all the different things you can do with a font with it as well. And we have this whole ribbon now, shape, that shows us all the things we can do now with the Word art. Let me click on my Word art. Okay, let me make this a little bigger so we can see the whole thing again. There's word art styles, there's text effects. We can do different types of outlines in these. So we have all these different changes and things we can do now with this. So I'd like to do is let's choose a different format here. So you can change the letter fills. Let's try and play with it a little bit. Just experiment, see what you have that makes it look sort of nice. It looks like a header that you would imagine on a newsletter. So I'm gonna go with maybe one of these bevels and you can hover over it and see how it looks. I really like that one. Pick whatever one you want. Maybe change the color a bit. Okay, for now I'm gonna leave that alone. I think that's enough for right this moment. Maybe. Now let's do an outline. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, that doesn't look good at all. Okay, let's leave it alone then. We also have quick styles. If you don't feel like that, just come back and change it. I'm going to leave mine. All right, so what I want to do is I want to do the wrapping. The easy way to do wrapping is this little guy here. When you have it selected, this pops up. If you don't see this, you should also be able to find it up in here under wrap text. And we're going to pick top and bottom, the different types of wraps here. Square, meaning it's like you would see a picture with the words wrap around the edges of it, but it's sort of a square wrap. Here, it would fit the actual shape. So if I had a round shape, it would actually follow the edges of the round shape. Here, it actually goes through it. So if there's spaces in between the picture, it actually goes in it. Well, this is the one I want, top and bottom. Behind text is interesting. What it does is it allows the picture to fall behind it to make like a watermark. But then the problem with that one is once it's there, it's so hard to move that picture because it's behind everything. And then this one's the opposite. It's in front of text. And we'll use that one later on. 
This one's nice because it allows it to be almost like it's on a transparent piece of paper over what you're doing. It doesn't affect anything and you can put it wherever you want, but it'll block words. But I like it where I want to move it exactly where I want and then maybe drop it behind or make something else happen at that point. But right now, top and bottom. Okay. I'm going to select my little box here. And there's a new feature they've added recently, which is these lines. I love these lines, actually. This allows me to go through and figure out where things are. Right there, that tells me I am now centered. There's a line going up and down, and there's a line across the top. If I come down to some, that line to appear across the top disappears, but I know I'm centered there. That's right along the top margin, centered. I'll just drop it right there. Okay, let's get this line here. Let's do the subtitles. Not all of it, just Anderson there. And I'm going to change that to Verdana. Fourteen. Thing on these points. If you're ever wondering what the scale is, 72 points on one of the basic fonts means it's an inch tall. So everything goes down from that point. Okay, so 14, and we're going to center that. And we're going to change the paragraph on that. I'm going to use, we can do this a couple ways. I could come into here, oops, I could come into here and do line spacing and change it here, but I want to have complete control over this little guy. So while he's high, highlighted, let's just hit this little dropout. Okay, so centered. I want to do 12 points before, and I want to do six points after. So I hit enter there. So now it's a double line space above it, single line space below it. And the rest of this, we're just going to center it. There. Ignore this line. That's just telling me that there's some sort of grammar thing, or maybe it's not the best English. Not going to worry about it. Yeah, I was saying, hey, it's not very formal. That's fine. Here's the beef, some old slogan for Wendy's back in like the early 80s or something. Okay. So that's it for this one. Next, we're going to go into uh, working on inserting pictures and doing some wrap with the pictures and so forth. All right, see you there.